Good morning, friends, and welcome back to another day full of exciting missions and fun-filled adventures. And you know what I was thinking? We should go... Oh, Claude is flipping the flipping ambulance. <laughs> That's nice, because, well, our garage did damage it a bit. I was thinking we should go and uh, deliver another car to the import-export garage. And... Let's check out this parking lot. Oh, there's a stallion over here, which is very good, actually, because they want a stallion. We've already delivered uh, Banshee. Now I just hope... Oh, it looks like it's going to rain today. Hmm. I just hope that the Colombians don't uh, destroy this car before we get to uh, the import-export garage. Because, as you can see, this area... Ooh is crawling with Colombians. Come on, Claude. <laughs> it's a good thing that the guys at the import-export garage don't really care the state of the car, how badly it's damaged. They only care to have a car there. Which is perfect. Okay, did you hear that guy? He said you can sail the seven seas. And it's starting to rain. Mmm, check out the dam. Beautiful, isn't it? They should have put some protection here, I mean, there are some crazy drivers, well, they put some protection up there at uh, the curve, but there are some people who uh, might just, uh, you know, uh, get off the road, especially when it's raining and slippery like this. Now, what should we do? Oh, I know what should we what we should do. We're going to Well, first we're going to get a car. And then we're going to We're going to go and do another mission. But not before we take another short trip to the airport and hopefully we can keep our car this time. Yeah, Claude, I don't think closing the door is uh, such a, an important thing to do at this moment. Okay. Yeah. It's raining pretty heavily. Ah. Now this is a car we, we need to deliver to the import-export garage. This manana, I think. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, Claude. Okay, the, the car got stuck there. Yep, it's the manana. What else do we have here? An Infernus, another Stallion. Uh, another Landstalker, and uh, I think that's a Blista. Yeah, Sentinel, Rampo, and I don't remember what that car in yellow was. Not the taxi, the other one. Okay. Yeah, we're also trying to uh, deliver all cars to the import-export garage. Well, to both import-export garages, actually. And uh, do all of the rampages. Because as I've mentioned, uh, we are trying to get all of the hidden packages and all of the unique jumps. So uh, I have already mentioned that. But uh, yeah, we're also trying to get these, uh, these things as well. And since we're here... Oh, wait a second... I thought there was a hidden package here. Here you go. Mm, it's so rainy and so cold. I think it must be something like uh, 10 degrees outside. Okay, any crooks? Mm, 
not really. So we're, we're just walking in the rain. In the Navy, in the Navy. yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's what these guys, these construction workers are, are uh, singing all the time. They must have uh, been uh, listening to the same songs. An insane stunt! <laughs> no, that's not an insane stunt. But it's close enough. Okay, let's check this place out. Is there a hidden package? No, but there is a. Yeah, a rampage here. Hmm, actually, let's do it since we're here. Drive by and destroy seven vehicles in. Uh... Okay, you know what? I have an idea. Come on! Oh, We can't really do this! Let's try it again. Okay, one vehicle. It doesn't matter. It, it, we don't actually have to drive by. To do drive-bys. At least I don't think we do. Here we go. Yeah! Oh, come on, jump up on that car, Claude! Whoa! What a crazy way to do rampages, eh, guys? Three, two, And chain no chain reaction. Let's get up on the manana. <laughs> okay, dude. Rampage complete. And police officers. Don't try to uh, get into the police officers' cars through the driver's seat because when they open the the door you will get knocked out and basically they will arrest you on the spot now we're going to go and uh, speak to Donald Love And uh, see what the bastard wants from us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Though, uh, I, I think that deserved uh, a bit more money. Anyway. Let's speak to the geezer. Yes, those construction workers uh, in the Navy, they've been listening to uh, some uh, 80s uh, songs. You are proving to be a safe investment. A rare thing in these days of falsehood. My oriental friend will need an escort while he takes my latest acquisition to be authenticated. I want you to follow him and make sure both he and my package get to Pike Creek unharmed. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Okay. You know what, guys? I have a wicked plan. This might actually work. Oh! This is going to be wicked. Oh, man. 
Okay, dudes. How how's everything down there? There. <laughs> Move it. Uh oh, this is going to be. Uh no, it didn't blow in our face. Okay, that's good. Let's take a look around. I've got you covered. Don't worry. Everything is fine and dandy. Let's take a look at the nice uh, commercials. What the? Oh, it's just police. And, hey man, watch where you're driving. Uh-oh. That's Colombian gang car. Where is it? Good. Hey man, aren't you taking the bridge? We're going to Pike Creek, right? Hmm. Whew, I thought that was a Colombian gang car. Uh oh. There we go. What the? There was another guy. Uh oh. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, see, we don't need a car to do this. We have our old Asian friend here. Will gladly drive us to, uh, uh oh, to the, well, to Pike Creek. What happened? Uh, okay, this bus needs to be taught a lesson. Oh, that was a Colombian gang car, I think. Let's get to uh, a bit to the center of this. Oh man, of this uh, group sex fan. Hey man, what are you guys doing in there? Okay, this is looking good. <laughs> okay, let's help him. There we go. That'll speed things along. And by the time we... Uh-oh. By the time we get out of this tunnel, it will probably already be night. Oh yeah. Check it out. This is just like in, like that movie, The Tunnel. It's dark down there. Oh yeah. We're planning to see that uh, someday, you know. At theaters everywhere now. Move it. <laughs> I wonder if my bullets would hurt this car, but I'm not feeling... I, I don't want to risk it. Okay, everything okay down there? What the? Did I hit the ceiling? Hey man, give me your... Oh, brother. Wait a second, maybe we can run after it. Oh, <laughs> now this is going to be trouble. Oh, boy. Go ahead and scout the exit. Yeah. I'm going to do that, just to uh, wait a second. Look at this, Claude is running faster than this stallion. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a, a nice ad here. 
Oh, that that car is getting damaged. The car with the uh, Asian friend. Ah. You know what? He can take care of himself. And we finally get to this guy. Yeah, I'll let them take care of themselves. <laughs> the craziest uh, escort ever. So let's take uh, let's take that car. I wonder what it is. Is it an Idaho? No, Esperanto. Okay. Mission passed. See, I told you those guys can take care of themselves. Okay. That's good. Good. Now, that's the way to do a mission. <laughs> we basically sat on the roof of that car for half of the mission, more than half of the mission. We did shoot some Colombians as well, and then we just let them, well, fight it out for themselves. Hold it. Ah. Uh, I wanted to check out if that was a uh, crook driving that car. That's not a crook. Perfect. Hey, man. Now, let's wait for a nice car. And get out of here. Go back to uh, our hideout. Oh, Mr. Whoopi! Please stop me. <laughs> Come get one. Okay, take the usual shortcut through the woods. And. <laughs> A Colombian gang car! Get out, Claude! We need to destroy that. Yeah, there you go, homies. And so, another successful day completed. We delivered a couple of cars to the import export garage. We've helped out uh, Donald Love. We've also killed a bunch of crooks, such as this guy. And we can pick up some armor. And we'll be back in the morning.